Thank you, Michael. Our third speaker is Vincent de George, whose title is Tomorrow's Electricity, Stadium or Lawn Seating. 120 volts and 60 hertz comes out of every electrical outlet in the United States. 60 hertz because in 1888, when Nikolai Tesla and Pittsburgh-based Westinghouse Company set up the first electrical grid, the magnetic materials used in that grid were extremely lossy, inefficient at any higher frequency. We continue to develop, design our systems within that 60 hertz constraint, accepting only incremental advancements in transformers from then until now. I work in a magnetics group here at CMU. We've made an advancement or two in the past century, so let's talk about magnetic materials. Magnetic materials are like concerts. Hear me out. Conventionally, they're like your Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra. Everyone sitting here assigned seat, row, column. That's a crystalline magnetic material. The magnetic materials we work on are like lawn concerts. Everyone sit, stand, wherever you want on the lawn because there are no assigned seats. That's an amorphous material. Magnetic materials are like concerts because it matters which direction uh, magnetic elements are facing. In order for a magnetic material to work, all the atoms have to line up their magnetic moment and then switch from the left to the right, along with the music or the driving magnetic field as it were. They do this 60 times every second. That's the 60 hertz. Or if we had our way about it, 60,000 times per second, 60 kilohertz. What do our magnetic materials overcome that conventional magnetic materials succumb to at high frequencies? Eddy current losses. Eddy currents are like the dogs the hippies sitting next to you brought to the concert. They hear the music, that is, are excited by the driving field, but instead of contributing to the dance, the switching, they just run wild, particularly at high frequencies. And just like it would be easy for a dog to run up and down the aisles of stadium seating, the amorphous structure of our materials prevents the flow of eddy currents because there are no aisles. Moreover, we engineer our materials so that the magnetic elements, like your group of friends at a concert, clump together into nano-sized clusters. Then, we put the biggest, meanest, ain't no dogs running around here growth inhibitor elements, shown in red, around those crystals. They block the flow of eddy currents. And what does a high efficiency magnetic switching material accomplish at high frequencies? 50 to 100 times size and weight reductions. Electrical infrastructure that is right now the size of rooms weighing several tons can be replaced by two or three 40 pound tabletop devices. So that the electricity that is right now only available to city blocks and skyscrapers will be available in tomorrow's electric, airplanes, cars, and transportation. All because we quit trying to incrementally improve the system within the constraints of 1800s magnetic materials technology and instead went back and redesigned the whole system in terms of today's magnetic materials and what they enable for tomorrow's electricity. Thank you.